Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to recommend some books featuring mental illness. October 10th was Global Mental Health Awareness Day and obviously I'm super late but if you want to read some books featuring mental illnesses I'm going to recommend some books in this video. So I have a lot of videos with recommendations on books featuring mental illnesses but I'm going to link the videos for you to watch them if you feel like it. I have read some wonderful books that feature mental illness, some that are super respectful and super important for us to read them. Some of these books are about mental illnesses and some of them feature a character with a mental illness. I think they destigmatize the illnesses, they normalize it, they treat them with respect and some of them are very therapy positive which I think is one of the most important things when we talk about mental illnesses. To ask for help is okay, to need help is okay, sometimes you can't get better by yourself just as a broken leg wouldn't get better without the help of a doctor. Just remember that your health is a priority. If you need to put your mental health first, just do it. Those things that you're feeling are valid. You can't get over them in a day. There are so many books that help me understand myself a lot more, understand the things that were happening in my brain and understand that I can't just sit here and wait for them to go away. And this first book just spoke to my mind in such a brilliant way and that is Americana by Chimamanda Negoselici. Now there are so many ways in which this book is brilliant but at one point the main character who is an immigrant from Nigeria who moves to the United States. She gets depression after a very traumatic experience. And in her culture, mental illnesses are just not a thing. It's not a thing that people talk about. It's not a thing that should be talked about. Medication is not a thing that they take in consideration. And I just feel like that has been in the back of my brain for such a long time. People don't talk about mental illnesses or mental health in my country, like at least in the town where I lived, early, at least in my experience, it's just something that I feel happened in various cultures and in various families. This book just validated a lot of those feelings for me. When people ask me a book with diversity, this book is one of the first that come to mind and that is In the Hope of Memories by Olivia Rivers. So this book features a lot of characters with a lot of point of views but it's done very very well. It has a character with PTSD and it has a character with an eating disorder. It also has a character with autism and all of those representations are done so well even though so they are all mental illnesses, they all have different reasons, they all have different ways in which they are treated. It's just a brilliant book in general. A book that I think became very popular in this past year is When We Collided by Emery Lord. It's about a girl with bipolar disorder. She is in recovery actually, she has pills but she decided to, to come off those pills and obviously is how those things affect her in different ways in her relationship with people in the way she interacts and in the way she sees herself so i think that part is done really well i don't think the book is perfect though i think there are things that are not realistic but at the same time i think these things are very important to talk about the part of the bipolar disorder and how it affects the personality obviously is done really well now i read a lot of new adults. When people talk about new adults, they talk about how it's very silly and I don't agree obviously because I I feel like I'm a smart person and I read new adults and I found some really well done new adult books that I feel I can relate to a lot more because they are characters with my age. A book that I think does such a good job. I think it is a very good book if you want to read a new adult book but at the same time it's a transition that is second position by Catherine Locke or Catherine Lockie. <laughs> this is about two dancers who were a couple years ago but then an accident happened and they couldn't dance anymore and they broke up but you learn more more and more about them as the book goes on. The girl has an eating disorder. But the thing I remember a lot about this book is how therapy positive it is. It has like 
chapters and chapters of her talking with her psychiatrist I just felt like that was so important apart from that the writing is very ethereal it's very well done it's obviously a romance book but it has like very heavy topics now I've talked about this book before in one of my videos and that is the addicted series but when I mentioned this book I only mentioned the first one because I had only read the first one but as I read and read more of the series I get more comfortable with how much I would recommend this series. The first book is not that good but as the books go on you get to meet a lot of different people. There is one girl who has OCD, there is one girl who has depression and anxiety and obviously the two main characters are addicts. One is addicted to alcohol and the other one is addicted to sex. It is very explicit, it's not like second position. They are very explicit, they have a lot of cursing, they have a lot of sex, explicit sex and the thing is to me the different ways in which sex is written like sex for addiction is not the same thing as sex for love or for enjoyment so i just wanted to mention like the entire series it, it is kind of trashy though i just want to mention if you haven't read six of crows by Lee Bardugo yet you have to it has a character that has ptsd after reading crooked kingdom it's just it's just perfect how it's portrayed and it also has a character with learning disorders or learning disabilities it's just in general it's so good it's so diverse it's so beautifully written and the last thing I want to mention is just one story in summer days and summer nights and now I'm not the biggest fan of that entire collection of stories but there are some stories that were gold the one that I want to mention in this video is a thousand ways this could go wrong by Jennifer E. Smith now I have a very hate love relationship with Jennifer E. Smith honestly it's more of a hate hate relationship but this story is really really good it's about a girl who is a camp instructor she is going out with this guy and he has Asperger's and they talk about it and it's just a very short story but at the same time it's deep and important and I just feel like it's a good story anyway those are the books that I wanted to mention in this video hope I added some books to your TBR that's everything hope you like this if you do subscribe and I will see you when I see you bye